Hey there everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for our reveal of Stamptember 2022's first collaboration set and this is with Honey Bee Stamps. In today's video, I'll be using the brand new Warm Wishes Honey Bee Stamps collaboration set that's only available at Simon Says Stamp while supplies last. So if you like this set, be sure to grab it while you can because it is super cute and perfect for creating some really adorable holiday cards and winter cards alike. So here is the stamp set. The set does come with coordinating dies and you can purchase the stamp and die set as a set or the stamp set on its own. I love how cute these images are and the fun variety of elements that you can use with the snowman is just so cute. So we're going to go ahead and start by stamping the ground with a little snowy hill onto our A2 card base. This is a top fold A2 card base from Simon's The Stamp and I've positioned the hillside where I want it. I'm going to stamp it with marine ink from our Positively Saturated Ink Collection and stamp that down along the bottom area of my card. I want to do some masking so I can do a bit of ink blending and shading on the hillside and then also create a nice scene behind it for the night sky. So I'm going to position a piece of masking paper inside of my Misty and stamp that hillside once more using the leftover ink that remained from my first stamped impression and I'll just stamp that down and cut this out. My plan is to be able to utilize both sides of the mask. So we're going to use the hillside and then also the negative area that's created on the other side of this stamped line so that we can also mask off the top of the hillside to create some shading. So let's do that first. I'm going to take the top of that hillside, the area that basically is the negative, and position my masking paper on top of that line. Now I can go ahead and press that down and this will give me a beautiful crisp line to go ahead and ink blend a bit of shading on top of the snow. I want to make it nice and light so I'm just going to use a very small amount of marine ink to go ahead and ink blend along that top edge of the hillside. I'm feathering the ink out as I head towards the bottom but I don't want to cover the whole thing because I do want to create just the look of shading and still maintain the white of the card base. Now I can bring the other side of the mask, this is the actual hillside portion, and we're going to stick this on top of the hillside that we just ink blended. I'm also going to wrap the sides around to the back side of my card because I want to go all the way to the edge of the card with a lot of ink and I don't want to accidentally peel up the mask. So I'm going to go ahead and start ink blending my sky. I started first with marine and put that towards the bottom closest to the hillside. Then I brought in cadet and this is a nice mid-tone blue that's going to blend nicely with the marine. I'll finally bring in some royal for that nice dark rich blue across the top and blend that out with the other two colors. So now I have this really beautiful night sky that's going to look spectacular with some snowflakes in it. For the snowflakes, I'm using our Simon Says Stamp Layering Snowflake set. This is a really fun set of snowflake stencils. I'm just going to use this to create a really fun background for my scene. There is also a snow stamp in the Warm Wishes stamp set. So if you don't have a stencil to create the snow in the background, use that stamp. And you could do some white heat embossing for that. I'm attaching my stencil with some of our Simon Says Stamp very, very low tack tape to hold it in place as I put paste over top of the stencil. This is Tim Holtz white texture paste and I'm just going to smooth this through the stencil and create a nice thin coating of paste. My plan is to add a bit of glitter on top of this wet paste. The paste is going to dry opaque so we're going to have those nice bright white snowflakes and because it is a paste it can also act as a bit of an adhesive. So I can put glitter on top of these wet snowflakes. You want to make sure you do it while the paste is still wet. And then that paste is going to hold on to the glitter so then once it dries the glitter is not going to flake off. For the glitter I'm using Distress Clear Rock Candy Glitter. This is also from Tim Holtz and it's perfect for snowy elements. I'll cover all those snowflakes with the glitter and then set this aside to dry. Meanwhile, we're going to do a bit more stamping. I have a whole bunch of images from the stamp set lined up in my Misty here and I'm going to stamp them onto some white cardstock from Hammer Mill with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink. This ink is perfect for Copic coloring and any other mediums that you want to color with including watercolors. So if you don't want to do Copic marker coloring like I'm going to be doing here, you could swap that out for a different medium. I wanted to maintain the same color palette for the snowy areas and also the snowman on my card as I did for the snow on the hillside. So I pulled out some B markers that matched 
the Simon inks really closely and I used those to shade the snowman and the tops of the trees. Then for the rest of the imagery, I picked a lot of nice Christmassy colors that I thought would pair really well with the scene. I wanted things that were nice and bright because we do have a dark background and I wanted the elements to be able to pop off of the card. I picked two different greens for the project. I used a lighter green for the present and then I picked some darker greens for the trees. The darker trees are going to add some nice depth in the background, but they're not going to distract from the bright colors in front. They're gonna blend in a little bit more to the sky, which is what I wanted. So we're gonna wrap up the coloring and like I said, there are coordinating dies for this stamp set if you'd like to get them. I don't have the coordinating dies, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take our new Simon Says Stamp Fine Detail Scissors and fussy cut these images out. So I really like these new scissors. They are fantastic because they have such a fine point. They come to an excellent point that's perfect for getting into tight corners and creating really nice sharp cuts for your cardstock, including heavier weight papers like watercolor paper too. It works really well on that. So once all my images were cut out, I'm going to start gluing my accessories for the snowman on top of him. I picked out a hat and also a scarf, and so I'll go ahead and glue those down with our Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue. I also wanted to create a really fun element of the sled being pulled by the snowman. So I picked out a bit of thin twine that I had in my stash, and I'm gonna tape it down to the back side of my sled. I just used a bit of washi tape to hold that down. I'm going to attach the sled with some 3D foam squares onto my card then tie a small knot on the end of my string and glue that to the hand of the snowman. Because I want the snowman to have the same dimension as the sled, I did use those same 3D foam squares to attach him down. I'll position him where I want him, and then that gives me the opportunity to then put a dot of liquid glue on his hand in order to hold the string in place. And so then this makes him look like he's pulling the sled, which is going to be full of presents. I think it's really cute and it's a great addition to this. It really brings the whole image to life. So here's where I brought in the presents. I'm attaching all of my elements with Simon Says Stamp 3D foam squares. These are excellent for attaching die cut images and they hold really, really well. There are some great greetings in the Warm Wishes stamp set and I'm going to pick out the Merry Christmas sentiment and stamp it with embossing ink onto red cardstock. This is Simon Says Stamp Schoolhouse Red and I picked out some white embossing powder to sprinkle on top. I'll heat set this and then like I did for the other stamped images, I fussy cut the sentiment out because I did want to have a nice little outline around the greeting. If you didn't want to fussy cut the sentiment, you could of course just cut this into a little rectangle or a square, even a circle would look cute and add that onto your card. So I attached the sentiment and then brought in some glossy accents to add a bit of embellished glitter onto my card. We have such beautiful glitter in the background from the snowflakes, I thought it'd be nice to tie that into the tops of the trees and also the ribbon on the presents. So I went ahead and added that glitter for a bit of extra sparkle, you can see it shining there. And then the final detail was to add a bit of embellishment with some gem stickers from Honeybee Stamps. Honeybee has some amazing assortments of gem stickers in so many colors and such beautiful designs and color palettes. So I'm using this mix here. This is the Funfetti Birthday Collection. And I use the black sequins for the buttons on the snowman and then a few of the clear ones for the snowflakes. And I think that paired up really, really nicely. So that is the finished card that I created with the brand new and first exclusive of Stamp Timber 2022 with the Honey Bee Stamps Warm Wishes set. Don't forget, you can find this set over at simonsaysstamp.com. It is the only place that you can get this exclusive collaboration set at, which was created as a celebration for Stamp Timber. I hope you were inspired. I hope you enjoyed this project. Don't forget to stop over to our blog for more information about the set, as well as additional ideas and inspiration using this Honey Bee Stamps exclusive. Thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous day. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.